Hi everybody, and welcome to the first tutorial for um, learning how to use Eagle. In this tutorial we will download, install, and add a third-party library. And uh, this is the first of a series of tutorials that will teach you how to use Eagle to design actual physical PCBs and circuit boards, of course, in a in a CAD environment. and um, once you're done designing that, you can send those designs to a manufacturer to have your PCBs made. So, to install, <coughs> download and install Eagle, go to the people who made the software, and they are CADSoft USA. Go to their website, CADSoftUSA.com. On the left, you're going to see a download link go to that link and you can install Eagle for Windows, Linux, or Mac so choose your appropriate client um, pause this video and I'll see you when the video is done sorry download is done okay um, assuming that you've now downloaded it go to your download folder for your browser and install Eagle. It should be a very simple straightforward installation. Just say yes to all the license agreements and I'll tell you that it's been installed in program files. And then it's going to ask you if you want to license it now. Just say don't license now. And you're done. Okay. Open up Eagle and I'll explain a little bit what it looks like and what you're, what you're going to use. So here's Eagle. And the main two things you want to be concerned about right now are your libraries, widget, menu thingy over here on top. This is where all your parts are going to be or libraries and stuff and such. At the bottom is your projects menu. Um, so all these folders will contain your projects and um, and the schematics and such. So what we want to do now is add a third party library that we can use to um, you know create PCBs. And for this tutorial series we've chosen to use a third party library made by SparkFun. Um, go, let's go to their website. It's sparkfun.com. And if you go to their About Us, it'll tell you a little bit about them. <coughs> and basically, SparkFun believes everyone should have the tools, hardware, and resources to play with cool electronic gadgetry. SparkFun's goal is to get your hands on current technology and information and pass it to you. So this is um, a library that can be used by hobbyists and definitely by people who are just starting out learning Eagle um, for PCB design. And that's why we've chosen this library. So to get their library, go to the tutor tutorials link right here. Go down to beginning embedded electronics. This should be the first one. And then go to the eighth tutorial where it describes it as getting started with Eagle PCB and capturing a schematic. Scroll down to number two and click Spark Fun Eagle Library. It's going to take you to a separate web page and at the bottom of this first chunk of text you'll see Spark Fun Eagle Library and that will be the file you can download. So click that and it'll download it and it's a zip file so you're going to need a um, an unzipping program to get the file. I use WinRAR, um, you can use WinZip as well and I'm sure there's others you can find out there if you just Google unzip or something like that. Alright, go to your download folder and unzip the SparkFun zip file.
I'm going to just extract the file to the d download folder. There's the folder. And here is the sparkfun.lbr library file. Copy this file. And then go to Program Files Eagle. Program Files. Library. LBR and in this directory just paste it right in there with all the other LBR files. So now your SparkFun library should be in Eagle and you should be able to access those um, from Eagle. Just to make sure we're gonna go expand our libraries. <coughs> Scroll down to the S is here it is, and as you notice there's no green light next to it or a green bubble. Click it and that will enable the library for when you want to add parts. And here are all the parts that it offers. And that is it. That's how you download, install, and add a third party library in Eagle.